everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Lily, aka Lily Koi. I am standing in my kitchen so you guys know what that means. I'm gonna do a really quick and really simple recipe for you guys today. It's the much requested recipe for masa harina tortillas and I don't even use a tortilla press. I just pat them out by hand which is the way I prefer actually because they come out like a little bit thicker and really chewy and doughy and just, oh, it's just, like, it's just everything I love about food. Your primary ingredient is going to be masa harina flour. There are so many brands available, especially if you're on the mainland, but I do like the Bob's Red Mill brand. It's delicious, it's consistent, and it's guaranteed gluten-free. The only other ingredient that you absolutely, positively have to have is water. If you wanna give your tortillas a little bit of extra flavor, you can definitely add salt. And I really like to add freshly cracked black pepper to mine. Other than just having those ingredients in the general vicinity of each other, I never actually use a recipe. I know, I make it really hard on you guys. Tonight, since we're having these tortillas with beans and rice and lots and lots of veggies, I'm not gonna go too overboard, so I'm just gonna shoot for like six or eight tortillas. For that, I'll use about a cup and a half to two cups of the masa harina flour, a pinch of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and my guess is that I probably ended up using about a cup of water, but I add in the water really slowly, a little bit at a time, and then check the consistency of the dough. This isn't a recipe where it needs to be exact, and since there are so many variations in masa flour with brands and, and humidity and how it was processed and blah, 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 me giving you an exact amount probably wouldn't work anyway, so that's just my disclaimer. Just mix it until the consistency is right. And the right consistency is when the dough is holding together and coming away from the bowl. Once it's that consistency, I knead it around a few times and then I kind of work it into a cylinder shape to make it easy for me to pinch off little pieces to make my tortillas. First step is to grab a little bit of dough and then squeeze it in your hands back and forth to warm the dough up a little bit and, and just get everything incorporated and sticking to itself nicely. So I like to smush them into triangular shapes because that allows me to utilize the entire cast iron skillet whilst I am cooking. Nothing irritates Lily more than free space on a hot pan. Efficiency is the key to a life well lived. Once they're all patted out, I just make a little pile and then get my pan hot. My preferred kind of pan for cooking these tortillas is a cast iron skillet with the low, low rim. And if you season your cast iron skillets well, they essentially operate like a nonstick skillet. So I get the cast iron skillet nice and hot and then I put it on a low, medium heat. When you put your tortillas down, you wanna hear a little bit of a sizzle. And those tortillas will stick thick when you first put them on, but don't stress out about that. As the part of the tortillas touching the pan starts to form a crust, they will naturally and easily pop off the pan and you shouldn't have too much stickage. Ouch, that was my finger. Right. You'll start to see bits of steam puffing out from the edges of your tortillas. No stress, that is perfectly normal. If you start seeing like gray or blue, quote unquote, steam coming out, you need to turn your pan down because your tortillas are burning, that's smoke. So you can see that my tortillas have popped off of the pan because they're forming a nice crust on the bottom and my skillet is so well seasoned. about ready to flip. You can let them get a little burned in some spots on the bottom if that's how you like your tortillas, but I prefer to avoid that uh, 
little dose of carcinogens. few things in life better than a tortilla fresh off the cast iron skillet. Mm. Oh, you ain't him. Can't have onion. Mm. You better hurry, it's gonna be gone soon. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Put it in your face. Oh my goodness. Can I make one? Oh, too much garlic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite chunky still, yeah. Take some out. <laughs> Whoa, what, what's in this thing? I just gotta watch the video if I know. Yeah. You ready to eat? Oh, yeah, already. Let's see. Okay. Thank you, baby. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this short recipe video. I hope you all enjoy, and I hope you guys make these tortillas. Oh, good. Oh, and I hope you love them. And if you make them and you love them, share them on Instagram hashtag #legitdelicious. And you can even tag me if you want. I love I love it when you guys make my recipes and tag me in the pictures. It makes me so happy. All right, you guys. Until next time, make better choices for yourself. No one's gonna do it for you and take really, really good care. I will see you all very soon. Bye.